There. Greetings, salutations, and in other words, hello, it's Professor S, and for the next five minutes or so, I want to talk to you about the two basic categories of membrane transport processes. For cellular membrane transport, all processes fall under two headings. They're either active or they're passive. Passive transport processes are those processes that are diffusion based, meaning the particles, whether they're flowing into the cell or out of the cell, are flowing through that membrane from high concentration to low concentration following their gradient, going down their gradient, or going with their gradient. And very importantly, because the particles are following their gradients, cells don't have to spend energy of their own to make this happen. They're energy-free processes that are diffusion-based high to low. Active transport processes, on the other hand, are processes where we're trying to move substances either in large quantities or we're trying to move them against or up the gradient, opposite diffusion, where they're never going to go on their own. To accomplish that, we use cellular energy. So active transport means up or against the gradient using cellular energy. Now notice I don't say using ATP specifically because while the vast majority of the time that is the energy source, there are some really important examples where the cell is spending energy to produce active transport, but it's actually not ATP that's the energy source. It's just the cell's energy. Like uh, in the case of aerobic respiration, the active transport occurring across the inner membrane of the mitochondria, uh, that is active transport powered by electrons, not ATP. It's, it's actually being used to make ATP. The idea though is it's the cell spending its own energy to make the transport process happen. Now having said all of that, I think the best thing to do at this point is to get to an example. So let's head on into the animator. No, no, no. I'm going to have to stop you. No animator for this one. You have to stop me. No, no, an the animation's ready. What do you mean, no animator for this one? No, we're not doing the animator. We're doing this one on location. Just trust me. We don't do on location videos here yet. That's not our thing. It's I, I, the animation's ready. What do you mean on location? Just don't worry. This will be far better than an animation. Just trust me. Okay, I guess we're not going into the animator, and I guess I'll see you on location in a moment, wherever that is. I am fully clothed, and I'm in a bathtub? Yes. Yes, you are. You said on location for this video. Your words, on location. Absolutely. You're not behind your desk, are you? No green screen? Fine. We're going to use that kind of reasoning. We're on location in a bathtub. How am I supposed to illustrate active and passive transport from a bathtub? Use that water bottle as a prop. You want me to use a water bottle as a prop? You're the one who loves to improvise, so improvise. Fine. I guess I want the water to come out of the bottle and go into my body. I'm the cell in this scenario. The water has a gradient that it's working against. It won't move upward on its own. But if I want it to come out, I can use the straw and apply suction. And in doing so, make the water move out. Because I'm applying the suction to move the water, I'm using my own energy to move the water against its gradient active transport. You like that? That was good. But what about passive transport? What do you want to do? Take the lid off and just dump the water out and it goes down its gradient? No, do don't do just that. dump out the water. Oh, wait a minute. I see what's going on here. That's why we're in the bathtub. You want me to dump the water bottle on my head? <laughs> That's funny. You're funny. But, uh, no need to dump the water on your head. Well, then what do you suggest? No other ideas? I guess I could improvise. Oh, Mr. Director thinks he can improvise? I'd like to see that. Why not? So passive transport is movement down a concentrated gradient, yes? Yes, it's down a gradient. And if you are the cell in this case, then you are also not going to spend energy to make the movement happen, right? Right, I'm not going to spend my own energy. So if, if I understand passive transport correctly, is this a good analogy? Oh. Oh. Did I get that right? Yes, it moved down its gradient, and I spent no energy.
Hey, I'm Big Al. Normally you don't see me, but I hope you enjoyed that special episode of Sci-Fi Videos. The slime went everywhere in, in things and up, 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 up. Trust me, he deserved it. Usually this is when he'd be making a fool of himself, but I have to pick up his slack doing it to him being indisposed. But I hope you enjoyed that video. Here are a few others you might find helpful. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see all his new videos as they come out.